Porsche has always done an amazing job of making so many different varieties of all of its cars. There's one for every type of driver. Personally, I've always liked the ones with the GTS badge on the hood. Today, I'm in Lake Tahoe, California to drive the newest one, the 2018 911 GTS. It starts off life as a 911 Carrera S, but then the three liter flat six engine gets bigger turbochargers. That increases horsepower by 30 to a total of 450. If you get the coupe, you can get to 60 in as little as 3.4 seconds. But there are other changes too. We've got 20 inch center lock wheels from the 911 Turbo S. And fun fact, the rear wheels on this are actually half an inch wider than on a Turbo S. There's also a new front fascia and a new rear wing that improve downforce, various blacked out trim pieces on the outside. It's got Porsche's adaptive suspension as standard. It's got a sports exhaust as standard and a little bit less sound deadening than a Carrera S, so you can hear that exhaust even more thoroughly. But that's enough talking. Let's get to what this car is really like to drive. The GTS's power delivery is incredible. This is a really quick car. Porsche says this rear wheel drive cabriolet will hit 60 miles per hour in just four seconds and go on to a top speed of 192 miles per hour. But the key is how that power is delivered. The turbochargers build lots of low and mid range torque really easily, yet the engine still loves to rev all the way to its 7500 RPM redline. Even if you don't downshift as often as you should though, there's plenty of thrust on offer to pull you out of a slow corner. With 405 pound-feet of torque on tap, you're never wanting for power. On sweeping mountain roads like this, the GTS is really in its element. I love the directness of the steering, how quickly the car changes direction, and how much feedback comes back to me from the tires. With the suspension dialed up to Sport Plus mode, body roll and dive have been totally eliminated, and the grippy Pirelli P0 tires are unflinching in their grip on the road. So the GTS is fast, and makes driving quickly both fun and easily accessible. What I also love though is that it remains a pretty civilized car. Dial it back to normal mode and drive gently and you'll find that the GTS can be reasonably quiet and comfortable for everyday highway cruising. Suffice it to say, the 2018 Porsche 911 GTS is fantastic. Porsche says that the GTS trim level usually accounts for about a quarter of 911 sales and I can 100% see why. It looks great, it's fast, it's extremely capable and most of all it's fun. To me, this is the distillation of everything I expect from a Porsche 911. And I really want to go and take it for another drive. <laughs>